What's up guys, this is Cole Dockery with Elite Profit Networks. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up your first Bing Ads campaign and a profitable Bing Ads campaign. So assuming that you already have a Bing Ads account, it's very simple to set up. You set up a Bing Ads account, just go to Google or Bing, type in Bing Ads, um, set up a free account, um, load your account with money, or you can set it up as you pay later. This is a paid traffic method, so this isn't a free method. This is a method where you're going to be paying money for clicks. This is a fairly new account for me, but I've been doing fairly well. So far, I've spent $74 for 373 clicks, and the conversions that I got out of that were very nice, and I was making probably about, I think when I ran this campaign, I made two hundred and eighty five dollars you know so I had a two hundred something plus profit when spending seventy four dollars and seventy three cents so when you first log in you're gonna be on home this is what it's gonna look like to set up your first campaign you want to go to campaigns Sorry, my computer's running a little slow. Once you are here in campaigns, you want to click on create campaign and you are going to want to click on search and content, not product ad or shopping. You want to click on search and content campaign. So, pretty much what that means is when people are searching certain keywords, your ad is going to appear. So, that's what you want to click. Um, so right here is where you create your ad and create your campaign right here in campaign name you can name this whatever um, I like to name it something where I'm keeping track of you know whatever I'm offering so I'm gonna do a work from home ad so I'm just gonna type in work FM work from home and I'm gonna put cash network because that's a network that I'm gonna be running it with this isn't gonna show up on your ads this is just for you to know you know what your campaign is if you're running multiple campaigns um, you want to make sure that your time zone is selected correctly um, your campaign budget this is your daily budget you can start out with how much you want I suggest doing five to ten dollars um, and then as soon as you start seeing results with your ad um, you want to bump that up it's all about scaling up um, continuing to work your way up until you're you know paying 500 to make 2,000 and you're paying 2,000 to make you know eight so you know it, it's all about scaling up and learning how your ads are producing and being able to monitor them so go ahead and you can start off with five dollars um, this is just an example I'm not actually gonna run this ad so I'll leave it at five dollars um, you, if you want to see more traffic right away, you can spend more right away if you have the funds to do so. But you want to treat Bing ads with respect and understand that if you don't do something correctly, that you can waste a lot of money as well. So, um, go ahead and keep it as five to ten dollars, twenty dollars, maybe. Um, and you know, just keep keep it low at first, work your way up. Um. What locations do you want to target or exclude? You want to target um, Canada and the United States. Um, show ads to. You want to put this on targeted location. That means only people who are in the United States and Canada are going to be able to see your ad. So now we're moving on to the ad title and the ad text. Um, for the ad title, you just want to make it something appealing. Um, I write down on a notepad several different ideas that I have before I do it. So something that I would most likely would say would be make money online fast. That's a good one. And then my ad text would be make $500 before Friday question mark so that's asking them a question like do they want to make five hundred dollars before Friday easy and simple 
Um, I like to put things in there, especially when I'm promoting work from home or make money online offers about it being easy and simple. Um, for the simple fact of I'm pretty sure, um, I think I've seen a research, um, I don't know if this was true, but it said most of people who use Bing are elderly. Um, so, you know, they want something that's easy and simple. So this is going to attract um, the target audience group that Bing um, traffic provides. So I, I usually like to put easy and simple um, method, you know. So your display URL right here, this is what's going to show up. Um, and you want to make it just look pretty, um, you know, www work from home dot com so it looks legitimate www.workfromhome.com your destination URL this is gonna be your link from cash network purefly or max bounty this is gonna be your link from your um your CPA network you're just going to paste copy and paste that right there I'm just since we're doing this as an example, I'm just going to put www.cashnetwork.com just as an example. But this is where you want to put your affiliate link um, or your affiliate link for the product that you're offering or the CPL offer that you're going to be putting there. That The link that you get from your CPA network needs to go there. Um, your bid type, you want to do keyword text. Um, you can come down here and you can enter keywords. You can be like work from home, enter. But what I like to do is research keywords um, and then go to find keywords containing words or phrase. And then I would just type in, you don't want to type in work from home because that's more people who are looking for like customer service jobs. I like to type in make money on, make money online. And all you have to do is hit enter, click the search bar, and searches last month. See, this is going to show you how many searches for that were last month. Um, like I said, if you're doing um, make money online, try to stay away from the work from home because, like I said, that's people who are looking for legitimate jobs, not business opportunities. So you want to click on, I'm going to click on make money online, affiliate marketing, make money fast earn money online online business make money online free work home opportunities that's I can do that make money on internet that's a good one um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click add and the most important thing here is that you you don't want to have your bids way too high okay so the bid is right here these are your bids on your keywords and by that that's you know saying okay the bid for first page is 57 cents for make money online um but you're not always going to be paying that much so what you want to do is anything that's over 50 cents i like to knock it down to 50 cents so what you can do is just copy and then anything over that is just just go ahead and plop it in there is what i like to do and even though you're saying 50 cents, most likely you're probably not even going to end up paying that much anyway. But you want to make sure that you do these and get them all. Um, because if not, like I said, you have to show respect for Bing because they will run up a, a big tab on you that you're going to have to pay to continue with Bing or you're just going to have to stop using Bing. So make sure that you go through and you know you set your daily budget and you you set your keyword bids accordingly to what you can spend um now not to say that if a certain keyword isn't working really well for you and is converting really well for you that you shouldn't go back and maybe amp it up a little bit you know maybe spend a little more but that that's all depending on how well it's performing for you um, and I'm going to have a video on how to check things like that as well. But in this video, I'm just teaching you guys how to set up your first Bing ad campaign that should work fairly well for you guys. See, this one's a dollar sixteen. Definitely don't want that. That could run you up fairly high. Just want to go through here. I go very slow because I want to make sure that um, each one is set accordingly. 
All right, so I got that all set, guys. And normally I would come back in here and then, especially if I'm doing, I would add like affiliate marketing, anything that has to do with online opportunities to make money. You want to add that as a keyword. And like I said, make sure that none of them, um, I'm even going to do a second check here. That's what you should do. None of them are over 50 cents for a bid. Um, that should, that's plenty enough to be spending. Um, so just after you're done, all you have to do is click on save. So boom, keywords are saved. Your ad right here is saved. Um, there's a few more things. Search network bid and content network bid. Go ahead and leave those at 30 cents. Don't change them. I don't really mess around with advanced targeting options or any of this schedule schedule or ads to run you just want them running 24 7 so you're good so what you're going to do is click on save all right so once you click on save your ad is eligible this is a big question a lot of people they say how do I know my ads running like when is it gonna start running when am I gonna start seeing clicks um when your ad says eligible, that means it's eligible to run, but Bing will be reviewing your ad um, and letting you know if there's any issues with your ad. And if there is, they will email you. But if it has this um, green check and it says eligible, it's eligible to run. But before you start seeing clicks, Bing's going to review it before they start putting it out there. So um, once it does start running, don't worry. It takes 24 to 48 hours for your ad to start running. So don't be worried. It will start sending you traffic. Once it does, your clicks will be right here. Impressions right here. Impressions mean how many times it showed up when somebody has searched in your keyword. Um, your average cost per click, your click through rate, and how much you spent so, so far. Um, but what I like to do is create three different ads and what Bing's gonna do is rotate between those ads and it's gonna show you which one's performing better so what you wanna do is once you're here obviously look through it says eligible you wanna go to ads right here and you wanna click on create ad And then ad group choose um, work from home cash network and then that's obviously ad group one and then pretty much you don't need to change anything Bing loads all the information right here but the thing that you're gonna change is your ad title um, you know because some ad titles work better than others so you just want to say um, you know just switch it up easy work easy money online all you got to do is click on save and you just want to make you know at least three or four of these and then it's going to show you obviously when you come and click on ads which one's performing better which one's getting more clicks which one's getting more impressions um and that the goal is to get your um average spend per click or average cost per click to around 20 cents or less um so it's gonna start off higher, but the more clicks you get, um, it's gonna continue to gradually go down. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions, of course, like always, my support email is above. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I'm gonna be making more and more Bing videos, but this is the first Bing video for you guys to teach you guys how to get a Bing ads campaign set up, and hopefully it runs great for you guys and you're able to profit from you. Have an amazing day.